Hello everyone and welcome back to Radical Red. We're on episode 8 now. Last time uh, we did a lot of waffling. Uh, it was a nice chill episode. We got through Rock Tunnel. Uh, we got ourselves a Hisurian Zoroark and we uh, we talked we talked a lot about Pokemon. Just just in, just a lot of Pokemon topics. Really cool. Kind of like more of a podcast episode to be honest. I've honestly wanted to do a podcast for so long but like it's just it's just effort man. I just love talking. I just love talking. I can talk about Pokemon and forever. I just love I love talking. Uh, anyways leave a like in the video if you like uh mashed potatoes uh with chicken and gravy kfc bowls baby they're so good uh we're in route 11 town now which um god i wish i remembered radical red man i wish i remembered like all the stuff i don't know if we have to do lavender tower first like i know you can't do it until you get this scope <laughs> But I'm not sure if we have to like battle blue or whatever. I feel like we will, right? Oh, he's not here. Okay, never mind. I'm thinking of Iron Mon, which by the way, I, I don't know what came over me. I don't know how I had fun streaming Iron Mon back in the day. I mean, I think I I think I would still, I don't know. I was a different person back then when I was playing Iron Mon. <laughs> Man, yo. I still think Iron Mon is cool, but like I was uh I was doing an Iron Mon challenge in Emerald Rogue and like it's the most miserable thing ever. <laughs> I genuinely like did everything I could in my like to cheese it. I eventually turned on like Unova only and uh got a Scrafty and then just swept with Scrafty like goodness gracious me like Ar Iron Mon is a is a challenge for the patient all right let's battle all these trainers I'm a rambling gambling dude uh so part of the reason why I've not been catching that many Pokemon actually is mainly because we haven't had access to IV and EV training yet but we're getting access to it soon so once we get access to it I'm gonna feel a lot more comfortable catching Pokemon because right now if I catch a Pokemon added to my team uh it's just gonna be getting a lot of unnecessary EVs and stuff like that and also like if I find a Pokemon I really want to use uh I can properly like search because i don't remember what the requirements are for getting ivs in in this game i don't i know they're not crazy hard but like if i get a pokemon with bad ivs i can i can literally just like if i know what i want to use i can like properly hunt for it with good ivs and yeah i'm just i'm basically just waiting until like the game opens up to us a little bit more and allows allows for more like competitive stuff which is soon so don't worry about that i know you guys like it when i have like a full box of pokemon uh, i like that too so uh that's definitely going to be happening i've also been thinking that like i really need to get the link cable for for uh Gigalith, but like i just don't know I I just don't know where it is. I'm assuming it must be in like Saladon department store, right? I'm just guessing. Yo, what are you doing in here? Oh, oh, okay. Mega ring. Yeah, I need to get the mega ring at some point. Uh, that's true. I actually don't remember when you get it. I think you get it fairly soon. <gasps> Yo, I forget the name of you. Basque Legion? Basque Legion? Just, just, just hanging out like that? Really? Okay. Um, didn't expect this. Thought I put an effort. I want to catch this. Basque Legion no longer has rattled. It has reckless in this game. Uh, same for the female one. Yeah, I forgot these guys have uh, have differences in offensive based on their gender. Male is physical, female is special. All right, we gotta throw a ball at this thing. And uh, of course it can break out. So let's, I think a dive ball, that might work, right? I don't actually know like how dive balls calculate. Nope, never mind. I'm, I want to die. All right, let's throw a wishing piece in. I saved beforehand. We got giraffe rig. No, thank you. Okay, it seems to be on like a set like loop. It's always going to be giraffe rig next. God damn it, dude. Ah, oh, whatever. I don't want to use a Basque Legion anyway. That sucks. I actually don't have a war type. You're learning Moonblast. Finally, let's go to the training kiss. Actually, let's have a look around here really quick. Do you live in ghosts? Ghosts appeared in Love and Tower. I think they're spirits of Pokemon the Team Rockets killed. Evil. Oh, wow. They're just a... Oh, wait, Morty's here. Oh, God. Okay. 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 Uh, and then there's also a Hisuian pup over here, yo. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot Morty's here. Did they really give him his terrible outfit, though? That's crazy. Wait, for 10,000, you can slaughter a family of Odinos or 2,000 for my EV training services? How about it? Wait. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go, dude. Awesome. I feel you. It does. It do seem kind of unethical. He do be standing, though. Well, that's good to know. Okay, so we got Morty and we got uh, a guy that lets us EV train. Acrobatics. A really good move, actually. A move that I've definitely grown to love a lot more as uh, as I used Halucha. Halucha with acrobatics is just phenomenal. What a crazy Pokemon. All right, while we're in the area, let's check out the route here. Oh, Lombre. Haha, <laughs> it's Lotad's favorite Pokemon. Lol, that's so funny. That's interesting. So, Radical Red gave Alola Ninetales Serene Grace. And I just realized, I thought Radical Red were like trying to, to make 
to make these Pokemon less like I just wait, wait Nine Tails special attack is only eighty one. That's so low. I didn't I didn't realize that. That's that's kind of it's kind of crazy. But yeah, I felt like they were trying to make the game less hacky. I wonder why they gave it Serene Grace. Oh wow, uh, Absol's Mega Evolution is actually a Fairy type now, which uh, I've never been like the biggest advocate for. But uh, I can get on board with a Dark Fairy Absol, especially because Absol was introduced in the generation that Fairy types were introduced. So I feel like it makes sense that it would become a, a Fairy type. You know, uh, it also has blade master magic bounce is always a weird choice you know this actually like i really want to use mega absol now seeing this be a dark fairy makes me really want to use it let's um you know what? let's pick up an absol in the meantime though let's have a look scolopede has poison touch instead of poison point yep 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 comfy is an interesting pokemon comfy hasn't had any changes comfy you had a signature ability uh before radical red called triage but in radical red they give it to meganium as well which is uh one of erica's staples uh meganium uh the fairy grass meganium with triage for those that don't know triage is an ability that uh lets healing moves go first well the, there's priority brackets and uh it's a priority bracket of three or, or four i don't know the priority bracket has been increased by three which is pretty big and that doesn't just mean like synthesis that includes giga drain and if you were to hack hack it in, if you gave a Halucha triage, for example, Drain Punch would pr be priority because it's anything that can heal. So Leech Seed, I think, counts. But yeah, Draining Kiss, Triage, Comfey is... It's crazy. I mean, Comfey has got good speed, but like a lot of Pokemon that are like fast are also typically frail. So like being able to get like a triage draining kiss off is like, it's it's got some benefits. It's a really cool quirky ability and I, I like it a lot and I want more abilities like that. Ferrigarath is currently not in Pokemon Radical Red, uh, but Girafferig uh, now has Sap Sipper instead of Inner Focus. And uh, instead of Sap Sipper as a hidden ability, it has Parental Bond, uh, an, ab an ability that used to be the signature signature ability of Mega Kangaskhan has now been given to Girafferig. It's really good for breaking sturdies and stuff like that. So, uh, and Girafferig, I'm not sure if Girafferig really has much to take advantage of. I mean, I guess bulldozing twice is cool. I'm not, I wonder what Girafferig can do with Parental Bond that Kangaskhan can't do. You know what I mean? Because Kangaskhan could do a lot of things with Parental Bond. So I, I wonder what Girafferig sort of like gimmick there is. I wonder what they're going to do with Ferrigarath actually. Uh, Miltank gained five points in its physical attack and that's it. Cool. Let's find ourselves an Absol because I would actually love to use a Mega Absol in this game at some point. We have 50 of them. Let's try catching it in a Dream Ball so we can get its hidden ability, uh, which as a base Absol is justified, but as a Mega Absol, it gets Blade Master. So uh, I want to try that out. I do like Magic Bounce a lot though. But Blade Master, hmm, stay with me. Come on. Yay. We've got a good collection of potential Pokemon to use here. Um, Oh yeah, we got the shiny magic card, but I don't know if we'll do much with. Did they change anything with Gyarados? I actually don't remember checking. I don't think they did. Yeah, they didn't change anything with Gyarados. He doesn't need to be changed. We've got potential Mega Dreadnought. We've got uh, Mega <laughs> Mega Milsery. Mega what's the evolution? Uh, all creamy. Mega all creamy. And we got Mega Absol now. And they're all different types. Well, I mean the two of them are fairy types, but we got options, baby. We got options. Now part of me's thinking, do I do I take on Morty yet? I'm not sure. I'm so stoked that I have U-turn and Volt Switch and Flip Turn already u-turn bonk choy can learn u-turn that's actually really good i think because i can come in and i can u-turn out fake out's nice for doubles which there are double battles in this game hmm it might be a situation of like just teaching those moves like when we come to that battle instead of trying to keep one move set the exact same anywho uh let's get out of this route let's skedaddle let's come through the underground path and we made it to Route 7, baby. We picked up the TM for Silverwind. Cute. Ooh, that's for what lives here. Ooh, okay, we got Deerling. Radical Red did buff Sawsbuck. They gave him uh, a little bit more physical attack and a little bit more speed. A pretty significant amount, actually. 110 attack, 105 speed. Malamar remains unchanged. It might have some new moves to make use of Contrary, maybe, but it's unchanged besides that. Rabombi has Swarm now instead of Honey Gather. I mean, fair enough, I suppose. I mean, Swarm isn't awful. It's the bug version of Blaze. And blaze range is a very real thing. So uh, swarm range, S swarm range, anyone? I've never heard that sentence be uttered in my life. Yo, we're in the swarm range. Oh yeah, there's mega Appleton. I completely forgot about this. How about Flapple? Does Fla Flapple also have the mega, right? Is the stats different? Mega Appleton. Yeah, their stats are different, but they're like it's the same design, which is very interesting, honestly. Flapple's mega has Dragon's Maw and uh, Appleton's mega has Contrary. 
Uh, contrary Leaf Storm Draco Meteor on Mega Appleton. Oh my god, that is disgusting. Wow, that is another cool Pokemon we could use. I might, I've already got an Applin, but I might add that to like my, my potential Pokemon to use. That's crazy. Passimian, uh, Spideff buff. Cool. Wow. Um, I can't believe I missed that about Mega Appleton. Yo, contrary Mega Appleton with Draco and Leaf Storm. That's so dumb. That Pokemon is stupid. Being like a dragon grass type too, like, wow. We have lots of mega evolutions to try out. Dude, there's so many Pokemon I want to try. I, I'm not gonna be able to get around to all of them, but like, yeah, Applin's great. I also really wanted to give um this thing a shot, but maybe I'll try the maybe I'll try the water one since we've already got plenty of grass types to, to check out. We've already got Rillaboom, we've got Shinotic. And now we've got Applin. Yo, Lucario. This man, this man is out here. Oh wait, yeah, you can buy Pokemon from the game corner. I completely forgot about that. It appears to be closed. Oh, okay. So I guess we worry about that later. Someone stole our self globe. Uh, the thief came running this way, I'm sure of it, but I lost uh, sight of him. Where did he go? It appears to be closed. Okay, so I think we have to battle Erica first, right? That would make sense. It's a casual Togekiss hanging out. No worries. Thank you. I hand out starter eggs. I'm also a shard collector. Red, blue, or green. I'll give a random egg corresponding to that type. You have a shard. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, wait, I don't know. So you know what shards I have, but I don't. I don't. So like, okay, so I've got, I've got a green shard. More, gra more grass types for me. Great. Okay, I've got to go back for it. What do you do again? Oh, fossil Pokemon exchange for shards. Okay, cool. That's, that's one way to get a fossil Pokemon. I don't actually know if the fossil Pokemon have seen many changes, so I might not bother with them in this game. If any fossil has, has gotten buff that should be Bastiodon, right? Bastiodon has Dauntless Shield now instead of Sturdy. Wow. Dauntless Shield, which Terminator also has. Okay, that's crazy. So he just has a phys So no more Sturdy, but Dauntless Shield. I wonder if that even makes it good, to be honest. I, I feel like it doesn't. Like, Bastiodon's just an unfortunate Pokemon. It's got such a cool design, but it's just not very good. Rampardos hasn't seen any changes. Anorith? Oh, wait, yeah, sure. I think Armaldo's like a bug water type now, right? Or something? No, it's Armaldo's still rock bug. Hmm, it didn't change Armaldo either. I guess Swift Swim is just enough to make it like crazy good. It's just main series games don't like take advantage of like rain like uh, Rad Radical Red does, so. But Radical Red sees, the main series don't. The only one that seems to have changed is uh, Bastiodon, and that's honestly fair, because Bastiodon kind of sucks. Important Doctor, very much indeed. I start your Pokemon fossil all the time. You have a fossil? <laughs> yeah, sure, don't fossil. Uh yeah sure there you go you can make it live again and something i always forget oh wait no wait they changed they changed um kabutops actually i'm lying i was just looking at the fossils he was offering uh but yeah they changed wait wait oh wait kabuto is probably just not on here because i have the dome fossil that makes sense something i forget radical red does is you have a pc right here so i literally like anytime i've ran back to the pokemon center it's just been completely unnecessary i'm so silly give it to me thank you kabuto uh this thing yeah this thing is blade master i've already gonna be uh using mega absol most likely so i'm not sure if we'll bother with the blade master kabutops but that's really cool and part of the reason why it's really good that we're reading all of this stuff is because it'll be nice to know why a pokemon did what it did like if i'm getting absolutely rolled by a kabutops then i know why it's it's because it's got blade master what do you do oh random costume pikachu yellow shard a random costume pikachu i mean i think i'll, I'll save my shard for now so now if we come all the way back here we have a dream ball nice and then if we come back here we can usually get an eevee right yay cool so up here there's actually a little bit of a uh, some deviousness going on i have a crazy proposition uh i can max one of your pokemon's ivs for 350 thousand or i can do a single stat for seventy thousand. it's crazy expensive but this is technically illegal how about it <laughs> you do you don't don't you want op pokemon especially in a screwed up rom hack like this you can't get this anywhere else and then these guys way back in the day me and my squad here hustled money using the amulet coin we'd keep a note of all the weak trainers that paid well and repeatedly battled them with the versus seeker it was a scummy way of making money taking from the weak children and whatnot but it was business nonetheless eventually the league caught wind of it rather than banning the amulet coin they banned and the verse seeker funny isn't it us chumps caused an item to be outlawed it was a big hit for us at the time but now we're making bank thanks to our new services just keep quiet what we're doing here fam all right life sure is tough in the city i learned that the hard way you from pallet town holy cow you'd make a better use of this than me oh thanks i mean the coin ain't a money tree but it's the next closest thing to it cool yeah to be honest the money isn't really th something that we have to worry about because i can infinitely get rare candies and then infinitely sell them so uh that's fine i'm the graphics artist i drew you thanks is that right? I'm the game designer. Filling up your Pokedex is a tough, uh, but don't quit. When you finish, come tell me. I'm never gonna finish, I'm sorry, bro. Me, I'm the programmer. I don't remember if this was in the original. I wrote the story. Isn't Erica cute? I like Misty a lot. Oh, and Serena, I like her too. I, okay, this doesn't, that's, that can't be real. But yeah, that's how we get our Pokemon to have perfect IVs. So, um, 
I think what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go back here to Viridian. This guy is gonna hook me up with hella rare candies. Oh, wait, hold on. I maxed out. Yeah, let's sell these. Oh, wait, I can. Oh god, okay, I can only sell them 99 at a time, Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, no, we're chilling. Yeah, well, we are big chilling. We are good for money. For anyone that is upset that me doing this, the alternative is that I just sit and grind. Uh, what's the, what's the item? Like, I, I think I use Thief on Meowth, and I get Nuggets, and I sell those instead, and the result would end up being the same, basically. Cool. 900 rare candies, and we have 900 palm egg berries. We should have plenty of money, though. So, now, with, uh, with this in mind, we're gonna perfect our entire team's IVs, because, I mean, we've got the money for it, so why not? Chad, here you go. All stats. 350k. Let's do it. That was, like, just a drop in the water. There we go. Everybody's got maxed out stats, which, honestly, isn't actually the the most optimal technically for say alert here you would want it to have zero attack ivs uh same for munch any special attackers you don't want to have maxed attack because you know if you hurt yourself with confusion it does more damage to yourself and foul play does more damage if your attacks higher but uh Eh, whatever. It's not the most optimal. I feel like, I don't know why, I just have a feeling there might be like someone in this game that can lower IVs to zero. And if that's the case, then I can just do that. I'm like tempted to just make all these guys have perfect IVs as well. And yeah, there's like no reason not to. I was talking earlier about like grinding for IVs on my Pokemon. I don't need to do that, man. Like I said at the start of this playthrough, I, li I like the idea of all my Pokemon just being perfect IVs, but I don't like the idea of not having EVs. I do like EV training. So this is what we have to do. Cool. I uh, juiced all of these guys up too. I don't think I'll bother juicing up Magikarp. I don't think I'll bother using it. I'll just put it down here because it's shiny. Here, have some tea, my friend. Thank you. So, Saffron City. Again, this is where a lot of the game sort of opens up. If I remember correctly, this is where we can come to like reset EVs and stuff, which is definitely what we want to do. Oh, you can teach liquidation to my guys. That's cool. You give me psychic DM. Thank you. Yay, these nerds. Let's go. Hi, I can configure your Pokemon's IVs for a specific hidden power type. The catch is each of the IVs must be at least 30. Are you interested? Oh, okay. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. So if my Pokemon's got perfect IV. Okay. So I can get Blight with like Hidden Power Fighting, for example. Like, yeah, give me Hidden Power Fighting. So this is what my IVs have to be to have Hidden Power Fighting. Cool. Yeah, Hidden Power is crazy. I can set the IV of a specific attack to zero. There you go. Yeah, let's let's just do it. Why not? There's no reason not to. Here, just drop your attack to zero. We'll do the same for Munch. Same for Blight. Cool. Go rid of that attack stat. Go rid of that attack stat. Go rid of that attack stat. Nice. I can swap a Pokemon's hidden ability and vice versa. I need a ball cap though. Okay, so we need ball caps. I actually don't remember how we get bottle caps. Do we have to like, we have to like grind those off of us a specific Pokemon, I think. Delibird, Trubbish, Garbodor, Sandygast, and Palosand all hold bottle caps. So we just gotta, oh wait, Sandygast is pretty early on, wasn't it? Okay. Delibird seems to have a better chance of having bottle caps. Where do you find Delibird again? I forget. Hold the phone. Speaking of Delibird, Delibird actually has a new hidden ability, which I think is, yeah, it's unique to it. Surprise! When this Pokemon enters the field, it activates one of the following effects. Plus one attack, plus one speed, hail, intimidate, or slow star. That is kind of cool, actually. I actually really like that. Delibird also gained a buff in attack and speed. That's actually really, really, that's actually really, really neat. All right, uh, subtract EVs from the Pokemon. Yes. Okay, I'll worry about EV training in a moment. Switch the ball of your Pokemon. Bless. Ball switching is actually something I don't want in the main series Pokemon games, mainly because like, I just, I don't know, I like the idea of just catching a Pokemon in its ball and like having it just be, it's just in that ball now and like I had to work for it to get it in a really fancy ball. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if the Hisui ball's here, which uh, yeah, I'm not sure how that, wait, did I, wait. Uh, no, no, there's no history. Yeah, okay, there's no history ball. All right, so I had a look, and it seems that Deadly Bird's only place you can catch is uh, Seafoam down here. So that's something we can't do right now. So in order for us to get uh, ball caps, we need to uh, we need to come to Viridian, and uh, we need to go to the left, and we need to take on some Sandy Guests. It's only a five percent chance though, whereas Deadly Bird's fifty percent. So that kind of sucks. I also do we need like can I use like knock off and like get the item, or do I need to like use Thief? I don't remember. Oh, I just realized. Zorark has like a follow animation. That's really cool. I just realized I never picked up the fishing rod. All right, thanks, dude. This one's holding an item. Let's go. Give it to me. That is one amazing thing about the decks now. That shows you if a Pokemon's holding an item. And then we got a ball cap from it. Cool. Ooh, this one's three stars with an item. Let's go. I want to pick up a few ball caps. 
because I don't know how many hidden abilities I'll need, but yeah, it shouldn't take me too long. I'll do it like, uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm doing it off camera because I'm recording, but like, I'm just going to, you guys don't have to sit here and watch me grind ball caps. Don't worry. I'll cut the boring stuff out. Six ball caps. That's a pretty decent haul considering I didn't really spend that long on it. Also, I keep forgetting I have an infinite repel. So, um, that's always nice. Thanks. Uh, thanks for the comments, guys. I already know you guys are screaming at me. You have an infinite repel, you absolute moron. There's just so many changes to this game that I'm not used to it, you know? All right, hidden ability. So let's get Don Fan Technician. Yep, let's do it. Do we want flash fire on alert? I feel like no, because I feel like blaze range could come in handy. Eh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, I'll say no for now. So we got Technician Chugger now. Uh, all that we need to do now is fix our Pokemon's EVs because uh, let me tell you, they are atrocious. Do we have a key item for that? Stat scanner, yeah. Yeah, look at look at these EVs. These EVs are are not good. So now I've just look, look look how much attack EVs he has, but he's like not meant to be like an attacker at all. Yeah, let's just do all stats for these guys. Let's just completely reset. Now we can start clean. Uh, I need to figure out what EV spreads I want to give these guys. Now because this is a ROM hack, I'm probably not gonna do anything fancy. Usually when I make free for all sets, I do some really really intricate uh EV spreads, which I mean I definitely definitely could do for for this game if i if i had a if i had a little peek at uh, what my opponents were and like I figured out what what speed stat for example a Pokemon had I maybe could actually oh that's so tempting to do like EV creep their Pokemon just so I like I can like speed creep but like live hits oh that, that sounds so fun but then I'd have to do that for like every battle and I don't really want to do that this is where we turn off the EXP share because um yeah we'll turn it off because if we have it on then uh we get EVs for every single Pokemon which we don't want right now so for Zoroark I would want it to be max speed Max special attack. Same for Typhlosion. Where's my Macho Brace? I have a Mad. I have a. I have Macho Brace, don't I? Yeah, we do. So let's just do Max Speed first, because uh, these guys are not going to be speed invested. And actually, while we're here, let's uh, let's get Absol sorted out with Max Speed. Speed. Thank you. Cool. I just kill these. So after one round, looking at my stat scanner, Zoroark has 72. Oh wait, these guys. Oh, wait, I have the. Oh, I have the XP share turned off, don't I? Yeah, let me turn it back on. You doy. Yeah, these guys got a little bit of speed in the back. I need to get those uh, power and. Let's, where do you get the power items actually? Yeah, the power items are later items, it appears. It appears you can only get one macho base as well. So um, yeah, this is not the most optimal way to do this. We've kind of got to get the EV training items like like individually. We can't like buy multiple of them either. Which is kind of a pain in the ass, but it's, it's not the end of the world, you know? You can't have everything handed to you, I suppose. Maxed out his speed now, nice. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure when I was playing Radical Red, I literally had to do this against wild Pokemon. So like, this is still infinitely faster and it's only two grand each, which is like super cheap. So yeah, this isn't too bad compared to what we used to be able to do. Uh, so yeah, you know what? I'll take it just for just, just, just to have EVs. I will absolutely take it. And just like that, all my Pokemon have max speed all they need is like four runs each with the macho brace and that maxes out the stat i'm just trying to find like an optimal way to do it so like the guys in the back can also like it's like right now i've done three runs 216 i just need one more you know run through now these guys after three battles only got 54 evs i'm just trying to figure out like an optimal way to do it but i don't really know if there is just gotta be on top of it that's all there we go let's go nice now all that's left to do on uh rillaboom and absol at least i'll mark them I think uh, marking ones that are fully EV trained with like a heart would be would be smart. But all that's left to do the, with them, they're not technically fully EV trained yet. They still have six stats left. Uh, and we'll just like probably do that into like Spadef or something later. But the stats that matter are sorted out now. I think we're going to give these guys HP. Like looking at Donphan, he's base 50 speed. He's not relatively fast. I think, yeah, just maxing his HP would probably be for the best. I think the way to go might be like giving each Pokemon three worlds with the Macho Brace. And then like, I think think just like the extra evs they gain just from being in the party should be enough to like get them maxed out so if my theory is correct that means we should only have to battle like nine times um for whatever stat but you just have to like swap the brace each time or whatever i don't know we'll see we'll see how this works this is the last roll is this enough let's see yes they're all maxed out so yeah that seems to work cool don fan technically fully ev trained 
I feel bad. I want to use Dreadnought again, but Dreadnought is literally dreadful for the next battle. <laughs> I could probably EV train Pachirisu. I probably should have had it for the... I probably should have had Pachirisu, Milsuri, and Applin for the HP EVs now that I think about it. I don't think I'll just worry about them later, though. Let's just worry about, like, the main six, mainly. We're going to do max defense for our Chad here. That's that done. Now we'll do max special bulk for you right here. I'll leave Boldor on the team. Actually, let's... We'll put these guys on the team, too, because now that we're training special and they've already had their stats pretty much maxed they will get a cheeky four or six evs in special defense alongside munch who is gonna get a lot honestly the first time you training when you get here takes a while because like you're doing it for your whole team but like once you like like later on we're just gonna be adding like one or two pokemon at a time which won't take any time at all to ev train um because it's just one or two pokemon but yeah there we go max spadef these guys have the remaining stats in spadef now too it can make a difference a small one but uh, yeah difference nonetheless uh and the last thing i need to do actually you are fully ev trained welcome to the club the last thing i need to do is train these guys in a uh, special attack now with absol here we kind of have like a an extra team member so um i'll put absol here because it's like fully ev trained help my brain separate it from the uh the rest of the guys that aren't ev trained yet and now that we're doing special attack this will actually help our munch here who here let me show this munch doesn't have its six evs anywhere so that the six evs are going to go to its special attack which is good let's do it solid maxed out maxed out now all i need to do is give these last two some defense evs and uh that'll be it honestly this episode i did not expect to be ev training pokemon but uh here we are like i said i think most of the time i will do that stuff off camera i mean i, I mean it, like, like before i start recording an episode is what i mean like because like a lot of that was cut out obviously do it in between episodes and stuff unless i desperately need that pokemon right then and there but it really didn't take that long like we EV trained like seven Pokemon. It maybe took like 20 minutes. Now I'm feeling a little bit more ready to take on Mori. Uh, actually, let me give these guys their mark. All our EV trained guys get some mark. I think we'll bring Goth Angel for this battle because we're going to be facing ghosts. Boldor, you're probably the weakest link, honestly. So we'll we'll say no for you right now. All I got to do is level up Goth Angel and Blight. Oh my god, you learned some crazy moves, man. Holy crap. Um, Phantom Force would be nice if I was running you physical at all. I mean, U-turns? Good. wait you turns only wait oh, oh my god I, th I read pp and i thought it was the base power i was like wait you turns base 20 oh my god that sucks no okay thank god nah we'll, we'll not do u-turn because uh physical attack obviously i mean usually like i said before u-turn you don't want it to do damage but like you don't need it to do damage but with from a pokemon like this like it would wouldn't be bad i could always max out its attack if it if need be but yeah whatever his moves suck it's fine you can stay roadkill for now that's why we're about to go beat up morty so we can get some uh get some goodish you know what i mean just some goodish uh, so let's get EXP. Oh yeah, I have Lucky Eggs. Let me give these guys Lucky Eggs. Or if you're a Pokemon Go player from Edinburgh before level 50 cap came out, Yucky Eggs. For a little bit more context, because a lot of the things I say probably just comes off as insane. In Pokemon Go, uh, there's like, oops, I mean to do HP, whatever. Doesn't matter, these guys are fully EV trained. I was waiting for myself to misclick. I was like, I'm gonna misclick one of these days. Pokemon Go, there's like different um, communities of people that play the game. Uh, the level cap in Pokemon Go used to be level 40, and uh, because of that, the Lucky Egg was an item that was used to, you know, double your EXP gain in Pokemon Go for 30 minutes. But because the level cap was 40, a lot of players that were hardcore players didn't have a, have a need for lucky eggs so instead of holding on to lucky eggs and gaining more exp because the exp count still went up even though you weren't gaining any more levels they uh they were like nah we don't need these these are yucky eggs and they would buy boxes with lucky eggs in them and, and then like throw them away because they didn't need the lucky eggs and it was taking up backspace which you know fair enough uh, and it's just funny because they uh, ended up le uh, upping the level cap <laughs> so uh those unfortunate souls that called them yucky eggs and threw them away yeah that was just wasteful just, just, if you don't want them, just use them. You don't have to throw them away. Just, just use them. How many lucky eggs do you have that you need to throw them away, you know? Anyways, uh, cool. Hopefully this episode isn't too long. Jeez, I think a lot of this episode I've been quiet because of just grinding purposes. All right, Morty. He has Mega Gengar too, jeez. We actually have items to give our Pokemon to. Uh, let me move this down here. Weakness policy. Flex like Typhlosion can make use of the weakness policy here. Let's give it a shot. Thick Club, ooh. Eevee Light would be good on Boldor, or will be good on Boldor. Mm, I do have a Charcoal though. Maybe if I don't live a Psychic, uh, I mean uh, a Shadow Ball or something, I'll give Charcoal to Typhlosion instead for a bit, I think. I'm just trying to figure out what's good for this battle but like i i think like most of my items like i just they're kind of bad i got like weakness policy and that's kind of like it a lot of them are probably just berry pouch items is what we need 
I got one Tetris berry, Jesus Christ. I don't know. I don't know what I'm up against yet. So, um, hey, I'm just going to save and we're going to see what happens. All right, Morty, let's give it a roll. I feel like I remember Morty being really easy, but whatever. Further reach my limits as gym leader. I found myself in a place I like to call home along the way. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Okay, so he does have his heart gold soul silver outfit, even though in the overall, it looks like he's... Why is your Pokeball on the floor, man? Pick it up. Mimikyu lead. Okay. Very annoying. Mimikyu is a very annoying Pokemon. Unless your name is um, uh, Excadrill with Mold Breaker. Mimikyu is very annoying. I'm going to, have to go for a Lava Flume. Okay. I really hope I get the burn. Give me the burn. No burn for me. Yeah, I don't think I'm living a hit from this thing. Do I have speed it? I don't have speed it at all, do I? No. Yeah, definitely don't live a hit. Unlucky. All right, let's think of a different lead then, I suppose. Mimikyu. Maybe we could put it to sleep. Yeah, Munch is good. All right. Yep, immediately Swords Lances. Okay, fine. You're going to go to sleep, though. Of course you have a Lumberry. That is problematic. And we're not going to live that. No way. Oh, we did. How did we live that? That's crazy. And then we strength up. I'm going to Giga Drain now. Okay, he's switching out. Cool. Nice. He threw a tantrum. He switched out. All right. Miss Sleeping Mimikyu. That's good. That's good news. We broke its... Um, we broke its... I mean, no, I don't, I don't think we did get to break its uh, sturdy thing, so it's very annoying. Uh, okay, Dusk Noir. Dusk Noir likes to have a lot of different punching moves, if I remember correctly. Actually, did they change Dusk Noir? Dusk Noir has Hustle now instead of Frisk. Wow, that's actually kind of frightening because Hustle really does let you pack a punch. I don't really have much to take a to take a hit from Dusk Noir. And because of Sleep Claws, am I Fire Punch or Ice Punch? I'm just going to Strength that. Willow? Okay. I yeah, Willow, Willow is also a move, I guess. I will Moonblast. Okay, nice. We get to slap something with a Moonblast. Gengar. Maybe we can get lucky and get a special attack drop here. Munch is absolutely tearing them a new one, though. Any special drops? Yeah! Yo, we are absolutely terrorizing this guy. Uh, we can expect Mega Gengar. Uh, I think Sludge Bombs are very likely. Blight does resist it, but uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't have speed a Mega Gengar after the fact. I don't think anything on my team does, though. Yeah, I really don't know what to do here. I feel like Munch is really good you know uh i'll go into goth angel i think i got it is a dark type and dark types go crazy here so i might be like tripping for doing this but like uh, this is like one of my first attempts of battling him so hey whatever he's gonna sludge bomb i'm gonna die sludge wave sorry that's fine you can go oh, you lived that hit that's crazy all right we'll just nice slash that's fine shadow ball finishes me off i'll go into blight because there's not much he can do my only weakness is dark so unless you have dark pulse ah oh, okay see i should have used i should have used pursuit there i think i have pursuit on this thing i might actually not oh you have a weavile better map this is not going to do too much to that. Uh, I don't have Pursuit. Pursuit's on Absol. Okay, Weavile. So Blight checks Gengar. Weavile. Jeez, I don't have much for this. Definitely getting a hit with a dark move. Yeah, I, I, I don't really have the best mons for his team here, unfortunately. Knock off. Took that nicely. I will strength that, but I think I'm just... Yeah, I just die here. Unless he misses a triple axle, I'm just dead here. Yeah, I just die here. One more. Miss, 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 miss. Oh, <laughs> unlucky. That's actually kind of absurd. But to be fair, the chance of landing three 90% accurate moves is not the highest. Uh, I think I just Moonblast. This might still kill me though, because the third triple axle just does so much damage. FX4. Yo, come through, man. Come through. Uh, I think the third one. Yeah, the third one still kills. Yeah. Okay. I'll, you know what? We paralyzed it. I'm more than happy with that. Now that it's paralyzed, alert should definitely be faster. We'll go for a mythical mystical fire. Oh, okay. You're swapped. Dude, this guy is the king of swapping. Oh, he's got a Typhlosion of his own. This thing's going to have uh, flash fire. Yep. Okay. That's very annoying. I'm definitely faster, but like, hmm. Surely you go for a ghost type move on me, right? Surely you go for a ghost type move. Yep. Cool. I will use bitter malice. It might still hurt me quite a, li a lot, but that's that's okay. Flamethrower, that's fine. It's not in blaze range because it's not running blaze. That still okoed me. Jesus Christ. Sardawark, you are a frail bitch, man. Well, we'll just finish it off with the explosion since we're faster. Oh, wait. Oh, his is timid. His is timid. His is timid. Mine's modest. Okay. Weakness policy. Oh, wait. Shit. Hold on. He's just sends in Gengar, though, which is really annoying. Yeah, I don't think we win this one. Weavile oh, comes in. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is Weavile healed? Why is Weavile healed? Is that like a gimmick he has? Because Weavile doesn't have anything to heal it. What? I'm so confused. No, oh, that's not Weavile. That's Zoroark. That's that's Hisui and Zoroark. Okay, I got it now. I got it. That was definitely a bra moment for me. All right, knock off. Take that, take that, take that. Jesus Christ. Okay, dude. Yeah, Hisui and Zoroark. All right, dark moves. 
We'll give this to Zoroark. I think we'll give the ghost one to Teflogen because I don't think we're going to have much opportunity to use weakness policy. Put this thing to sleep. Put this thing to sleep again. Strength zap. Oh, he switches into Dustnor immediately. Okay, uh, for, uh, that's fine by me. He went for Will-O-Wisp last time. So are you going to Will-O-Wisp again? Yep. Now the question is, he stays in. Okay. Do we get a burn with this? We don't. Shadow Punch. Yeah, we got the berry though. That still did a lot. Wow. Hustle really, really, really buffed it. <gasps> Damn it. No. No. Oh, okay. We try again. We learn from our mistakes. Oh, he switched directly into Teflosion this time instead of Dusk Noir. That is interesting. He stayed in this time, thanks. All right, now we'll fire off a Moonblast. Hey, Mimikyu woke up? Bro, listen, that's not part of the plan. Go back to sleep. You crit me. Really? Dude, this game crits me way too often. He crit me again. Dude, no way. All right, broken his little thing. He woke up this time. Swords once again. Honestly, taking Mimikyu out would be nice. Don't crit me. Okay, thank God. Does Mimikyu... Oh my God, it's literally... Okay. All right, I shard here. Get out of here. I don't have munch right now but maybe that's okay i will earthquake i take that right yeah nice this might not oko it does never mind mega gengar gone weavile now is it actually weavile or is it H? it's probably weavile yeah just I don't have any bulky mons. That's why, that's why I miss... Maybe I bring Boldor back for this battle if I keep struggling. Because, yeah, I don't really... I think, like, Triple Axel just does so much damage. I... I, I yeah, I... This Weavile is a problem. I call Rock Tomb. Hi, it's, it's Zoroark. Okay. God damn it, dude, really. I love that it shows that it's Zoroark's cry and everything. All right, Absol. Well, Night Slash. Does that just kill Absol? Oh, Absol lives. Let's go. Of course, it's holding a Colbert Berry. So it lives. It's got Illusion. Yep. Yeah, I can't do much about that. Absol is kind of, like, weak. Is this thing like specs? Why are you doing so much damage, bro? The real Weavile. Yeah, there's not much I can do about this. I have Blight, but like, yeah, Blight can't do anything. We're bringing back Dick, man. He needs to, he needs to come to this battle. I'm sorry, Absol. You're kind of, you're kind of slacking. If you like. All right, we dropped the special attack as you switch from Mimikyu. Flashfire would be so nice here, man. This is what Flashfire is all about, I think. I'll use Inferno March. Yep, he's going to swap. Cool. Into Weavile. Oh, it's Zoroark. God damn it, dude. I'm going to Mystical Fire. Oh, he switches again. Interesting. Oh, how, how did... Why do you... Huh? I, that's just like a... Did you read my inputs moment? Like, genius. Like, oh my god, dude. Flamethrower is doing more because of Flashfire, right? All right. Scorching Sands. No. Oh my god. He lived on one HP. Chad, do you take this? Oh, wait. That's... A, God damn it. You actually took that really well, though. Weavile comes in and gets Rock Slide, but no, actually, it's a Zoroark. He's using Nasty Plot. He has Nasty Plot. How dare you? Rock Slide's doing decent. Shadow Ball kills. Bye-bye. You just died of that, huh? Yeah, okay. God damn it, dude. All right, Typhlosion is in. He's going to go into Zoroark, so I use Lava Plume. He stayed in. Why would you stay in? Like, it, the game reads your inputs. I say it has to. Like, it switched out before. Like, why does it stay in now? It just doesn't make sense. I'm so tempted to get fl Flash Fire just for this Typhlosion. This Typhlosion is so annoying. I will give it to him, though. He has a really good team. Mimikyu wakes up. Swords dance again. God damn it. Go to sleep. Hey, this is best case scenario. It wakes up again? Dude, come on, man. Jesus Christ. All right. Critical hit. Awesome. I strength zap as it swapped out after swords dancing for some reason. Did you read that I was strength zapping? And then, like, I just don't understand. I really don't get it. I'm going to Blight. Sludge Wave. That does so much damage, dude. Holy crap. Like, wow. Shaga can handle this. Typhlosion. This thing has to be, like, specs, right? Specs lane thrower. Maybe, no, it's not. It's, it's not specs. I don't think. I think the reason why I thought it's back is because of flash fire. I'm pretty sure it's flash fire. So like now, now I'm just kind of like a coin flip. Like, do I lava plume predicting Zoroark? Do I infernal parade predicting it to stay in? Or do I just, I don't know what to do, man. I'll just scorching sands. It stays in. Give me a break, man. Scorching sands. I, I just don't know what to do against it here. Oh, scorching sands again, whatever. Chad finish this for me. Oh, okay. Dusk Noir. Yeah, I've still got Dusk Noir to deal with, by the way. Jesus Christ. Chad gets burned. We're getting flash fire, dude. Screw it. Mori has shown me the way of flash fire. You can teach Pokemon play rough. That's cool. Surely link cables are here, right? Yes. Should have checked this sooner, to be honest, but whatever. Oh, wait, what? It won't have any effect? Why? Wait, literally. Oh, wait, because he's, he's, he's holding the Eviolite? Maybe they... Did they... Okay, I think they buffed Eviolite to be an Everstone, but also buffing defense, maybe? That's probably it. Big man. We got sand on our side now. You know what? I'm gonna give Zorak a turn for now. I don't need Thief right now. Unless any of my other moves. No. Zorak can't learn Snarl? That doesn't seem right. All right, dude. I've been battling you for like way too long. All right, drop the special attack with Typhlosion. I'll go into my own Typhlosion. Yes, sir. Give me that Flash Fire buff. Well, now I can do an Infernal March. And of course he swaps. Of course he swaps, you know? Why not? It's fine. We've got Flash Fire though, right? Uh, dude, why? 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 I, I I don't believe this shit. This shit is this shit is so dumb. My one Oko's it because I'm modest, baby. Dusk Noir. I definitely died a Shadow Punch. I'm going to Blight. Oh, Shadow Sneak even. I'll use Bear Malice. It was into... <sighs> This thing's so annoying. I'll U-turn out. Get rid of the illusion, baby. 
I'm going to munch. Nasty plowing up, huh? Okay. Moonblast. Crit oko oh, it. Nice. Get out of here. Dusk Nora comes in again. I'm going to strength up. I'm just going to moonblast. Strength up allows me to live. Jesus. I'm going to strength up again. I think it dies though. Oh, well, we lived. Let's go. Strength up again. Nope. Uh huh. Switching into Weavile, maybe? Gengar? Okay. I'm not sure what Bonk Choi does here. I'll sack Bonk Choi, which is insane, honestly, because Bonk Choi is crazy good. But Chugga, Earthquake. We lived that. Earthquake. Gengar's gone. He lived on like. Oh, because of the... Oh, wait, yeah. All right, I shard. Because of the uh, grassy terrain. Yeah, that's my bad. I forgot about that. That's fine. Never punished. We'll Weavile. I'll rock him. On the off chance, I live. Okay, that's fine. Chad, this is all you, big bro. Rock slide. Big damage, big damage. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, my days, of course. That's what we sandstorm for, though. Three ones left. Dusk Noir. Now that's why we want the physical wall. That is Chad. I'm just going to rock slide. We will chip it down. Dynamic punch. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, that hurt. And we're confused. Chad coming through, though. Dynamic punch will take me out. That's fine. We can go into Blight, finish this off with a bit of Malice, and Mimikyu. A uh, bit of Malice, bit of Malice. Let's go! We won! Jesus Christ! <sighs> that was stupid. That was actually stupid. All right. I have high hopes for you, Cal. Please have me take another GM. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God damn, bro. Well, that took me some time. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Sorry if this episode was extra long. I'm not actually, I can't really tell what the, the length of this episode. I, I've, been I've been recording for two hours. I'll put it like that. I've been recording for two hours, so I don't know. Cause like, I feel like a lot of this episode was just me not talking and grinding, but whatever. Thanks so much for watching. A uh, bit of a messy one, but we got it. We got, we got there at the end. Uh, next time we're going to take on Erica. Uh, and we're gonna then get ourselves a Sevi and Pokemon, I suppose. So uh, yeah, uh, the real game begins here. Thanks for watching, guys. See you then.